Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. I have a quick tip when it comes to animations. So let's say that we have this robot arm, which is animating. You can see that we have a bunch of keyframes. So let's say that we wanna take this robot arm and we wanna move it in our scene. So we wanna maybe move it back into the corner. But the problem is because it has keyframes, the second we hit play, it's gonna snap back to those keyframes. So we need a way to move this model and move all of the associated keyframes with it. Now there's a couple ways you could do this. One is of course putting your object in a null and moving the null. But sometimes, uh, depending on the way your hierarchy is set up, if you're using deformers, or you just want to keep things a little bit cleaner, that might not be the best option. So there's this thing called animation. And if we troll down this cube right here, we have animation with a little film strip on it. And if we click on this, you can see that our icon shifted. Now let's go to our robot arm and let's move it to where we want it. And then let's hit play. So now you can see that all of the associated keyframes moved with that robot arm, but we were able to move the object to a different place in our scene, which is really, really handy. So we can move it over here and it's going to stay there. And then when you're done with that, you can just go back to your model mode and you can get back to work. So if it's in model mode and we try to move it, it's gonna snap back. One thing I did find out was that this is R18. If you're using R17 and you look here, it's not there. Um, so what you're gonna have to do is go to right click, customize palettes and type in animation. And there's two of them. Uh, I think it's um, show animation option. Just drag that up onto here and then maybe save your layout and you'll have that guy available. So anyway, it's a super handy little button to know it's there and you can quickly move an object and then switch back to your model mode. It's really handy. I've been using it a lot lately, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you as always for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time.